Sigma. Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Stop. Oh, hello there. I'm just checking the play bus over. Charlie? Charlie, where are you? I'm over here, why? Oh. By the bus. Oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh, hello. <laughs> now, Mr Jolly's just been on the phone. Has he? He wants us to bring some roundabout oil over because he's just run out and Rosie's got a bit of a squeak. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah, that'll be fine. Mm. Oh, no, no, it isn't fine. Why? I I've just finished it. Yes, uh, the play bus needed a bit of topping up and I've used the last drop. Oh, but Charlie, no. that was Rosie's oil, not the bus oil. Ah. That oil was to make Rosie go round and round and round very smoothly. Yes, I know, I know, but uh, the, I thought the bus could do with a bit of a boost. <gasps> and Rosie's oil is the best, you know. But, Charlie, what are we going to do? Mm, we need to find some quickly. Rosie must have her oil. Yes, we can't have Rosie squeaking now, can we? I, I know. We, we need to find another roundabout and ask them if we can have some of their oil for Rosie. <laughs> Let's go. Charlie! Charlie! <sighs> Where are we going to find another roundabout? Hmm. Do you know, I can't keep up with him when he gets one of his ideas. <laughs> another roundabout, eh? I wonder if there'll be another Mr Jolly running it. Come on, Peggy, we have to go. Poppy? Come on, Why? No time to lose. Oh, right. Where are we going, Why? And we gave for something to eat, cos I know this really good fish shop, oh, right? Oh, Poppy, and... come on. I'm sure Charlie knows what he's doing. find some extra special roundabout oil then. Well, why? We're going to a place where there's bound to be a roundabout Ooh. to see someone who can lend us some oil. <laughs> you won't believe this place when you see it. In fact, hmm? here we are. <gasps> We're here? Yes, we've got a bit of searching out to do. Now, remember, when we get inside, you all stay close to me mm. so nobody gets lost. Oh, ah, yes, no, I wouldn't get lost. <laughs> now, we need to find the roundabout man so he can give us some oil. Mm. Right. But, first things first... Chicken! Come on. Oh, oh look at that. that. Wow, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, remember, all stay together. Mm. Oh, oh, Charlie. Yes. Can we go with that? On that. Oh, it looks very it's, high. Yeah, it looks really high, good. Well, remember, we are looking for a roundabout, aren't we? That's right, mm. why, yes. And um, what shape is that, do you think? Um, oh, a circle. A circle. A circle, mm. right. Come on, let's get looking. Right, right. Oh, 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 oh. Can we go with that? Can we go with that? Look, look, we've got buckets. See, oh, so they go like that. We're looking for something that goes round and round. Mm. Not round and round. Yes, a roundabout. Yes. Come on, Poppy. 
keep up and don't get lost. Oh, come on. But, but we only take a couple of minutes. Ooh, now let's have a look at this one. Oh, 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 can we have a go at that? Look, it's got flags and everything. Uh, Poppy, oh. no, I, it's not quite right. You see, those boats go up and down, and Rosie doesn't go up and down, does she? Come on. Um, do you know, I don't know. Do you know, it looks very mysterious. Mm -hmm. But it's not round. You know, you're absolutely right, Peggy. Oh, thank you. It's not round. No. Is it? No. And we're looking for a round Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, to borrow some more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, then. Oh, right. I wonder if there's any oil over here. Like they used to drive in the olden days. <laughs> I can't see any oil here. Mm. I can't see Peggy, Why or Charlie either. No, oh, no. And Charlie told me not to get lost. I'd better go and find them. Mm. Oh, oh, this is brilliant, mm. Charlie. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Poppy, come on, keep up. Poppy? Poppy? Oh. Poppy? <gasps> Where's Poppy? Oh, no. Perhaps she's wandered off. Oh, well, um... We'd better go back for her, come oh, on. Yes. Oh, I know. What? Well, we could put a call out for her over the loudspeaker. <gasps> Peggy! Oh, what a brilliant idea! <laughs> well you. done! Come on! Poppy! Poppy! Why, Charlie! Peggy! They're lost! Mm. Oh, so am I! I've come a bit too far. No, now I'm completely lost. 
Well, I don't know where they are. I feel like I've been right round the world and back. Will Poppy please meet her friends at the carousel? They will be there waiting for her. Carousel, they'll be there waiting for me. Aha! Uh, Avenger! Hello, Mr. Ranger, sir. Hello. Um, I've lost my friends. We were looking for a big roundabout. You haven't seen them, have you? You have? They're over there. Oh, lead the way, Mr. Ranger. That doesn't say much, does he? Hang on a minute. Poppy! 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 Hello! Oh, oh. Thank you, Mr. Ranger. Poppy, there you are. Do you remember what we said? We said we must stick together. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, don't worry. We're all back together now. Yes. Right. Let's find this roundabout. Roundabout. Um, um, roundabout. Charlie! What? Look, it's there, behind you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a beautiful carousel. Oh, oh. There. oh, oh, excuse me. I say, um, we're looking for the man who looks after the roundabout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, there is no man. I look after the roundabout. Oh, goodness. Are you? Yes, my name's Lisa. Well, um, Lisa, we were wondering if um, we could borrow some of your roundabout oil for Rosie. Mm. You see, uh, Mr Jolly's run out. Oh, that's terrible. Mm. How is Rosie and Mr Jolly? Oh, oh Mr Jolly is very well. Very well. Yeah, but Rosie squeaks a bit. Mm. Oh, dear, my roundabout hates to squeak. Mm. Do you mind if we look at some of the roads on your roundabout? Of course you can. Could we? Oh, oh, come on, oh, come on. Come on. Sir, yes. I've got a couple of questions I want to ask you think about that roundabout, sir. Shall we go over there? Yes. Oh, here we are by the roundabout. It's a very special roundabout, this, isn't it? Very special, yes. This is a Chief Ranger's roundabout. Chief Ranger's roundabout. It's got another name as well. It's a carousel, isn't it? That's right, mm. why. See, I knew that one. Mm. Now, Lisa, do you look after it properly? Oh, yes, you I do. You do? You yes. check everything, do you? Yes. Yeah. What, what sort of things do you check? I check the horses are going up and down. Horses going up and down. Ooh. And the cogs and sprockets and the special buttons are working. Oh, special buttons. Mm. Now then, um, there's lots of different rides, isn't there? Which one's your favourite? I think I like Mr Elephant, but we've got lots of different things. We've got logs, we've got teacups and Ooh. boats. Lovely, because we've got um, we've got a plane and a tractor on ours. Mm. Mm. Haven't we? Mm. Yes, and a boat. Yes, and a car. Oh, that oh. was really good. Mm. Mm. Um, why did you uh, did you sort out the oil? The oil? Mm. Well, yes, I was just getting round to it oh, actually. Right. Yeah. Lisa, could we trouble you for some oil for our Rosie, please? Well, why don't you go and have a little sit down on the octopus and I'll go and fetch some the for octopus. you. Oh, Lisa, right, <laughs> yes. when you come back, could we have a ride on your roundabout, please? Oh, oh, oh yes, that would right. be nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> come come on. on. Come on. Right, here we are. A fairground story. <laughs> it was a hot summer's day and Polly's mum and dad were putting up a huge and brightly coloured merry-go-round. Polly's parents worked at the fair, and this meant that the whole family travelled about visiting towns and villages all over the country. Ooh, mm. How exciting! Yes. Well, Polly enjoyed this very much, although it did make it difficult for her to make new friends, oh. and she was often rather lonely. Oh, what a shame. Mm. Mm. Well, Polly went off to do her own job, which was to set up the coconut shine. Oh. <laughs> she put the coconuts in their cups and set out the balls that people would use to knock them down. Mm. That afternoon, the fair opened and oh. floods of people arrived. Polly loved watching them having fun on the rides. Mm. And then she noticed a little girl who didn't look as if she was having any fun at all. Oh, oh. dear. Mm. Are you lost? asked Polly. No, but my puppy is said the little girl, sadly. Well, what's his name? said Polly. He hasn't got one yet, she sobbed. Well, I bet you've got a name, though, said Polly, trying to cheer her up. Oh, yes, she replied. My name's Alice. OK, Alice, don't worry. I'll help you find him. I know my way around the fairground better than anyone. <laughs> the two of them searched high and low for the little dog. 
They went on the ghost train <gasps> and shone a torch in the long, dark Ooh, tunnel. Yeah. They didn't find him. Oh. Alice looked in the bumper cars and in the coconut shy, and then they went into the Hall of Mirrors. But they still didn't see the puppy. By this time, Alice was getting very worried indeed. Oh, don't cry, said Polly. I know just the person who can help. They went to Polly's friend, Madame Zelda, Ooh. in her tent. Mm -hmm. Polly explained to Madame Zelda all about the missing puppy. Alice noticed something on the table. What's that round glass thing, she asked. Oh, that's my crystal ball, no. said Madame oh. Zelda. <laughs> I'm a fortune teller. Oh. Will it be able to show you where my little dog is, said Alice. Mm, you never know. It might do, <laughs> said the old lady, smiling. And then she peered closely into the crystal ball. Ah, uh, is your puppy brown with a black splodge over its eye? <laughs> yes, said Alice, oh. her jaw dropping with amazement. <laughs> <laughs> this is strange, Madame Zelda went on. Your puppy seems to be covered from head to tail in pink, fluffy stuff. Ew. <laughs> Polly was rather puzzled by this, but then suddenly she had an idea. Come on, she said, and dashed out of the tent, followed by Alice and Madame Zelda. They ran all the way to the candy floss store. Oh, <laughs> and there, covered from head to paw in pink candy floss, was the puppy. Hey, <laughs> Alice was so pleased she gave him a great big hug. And then she said, thanks, Madam Zelda. Oh, you're amazing. Yes, said Polly. Not really, whispered Madam Zelda to Polly. Your dad told me he'd found the puppy just before you arrived. Oh. <laughs> and then Madam Zelda said to Alice, you'd better give him a name in case he gets lost again. The little girl thought for a while. I know, said Alice. I'll call him Flossy. Yeah. Well, Polly and Alice had a brilliant time for the rest of the afternoon. Their favourite ride was the big wheel. Yeah. <laughs> After that, Alice and Flossy came back to play with Polly every day while the fair was in town. They all became the best of friends. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Oh, I'm glad the little dog was found. Yes, yeah, so am I. Hmm. There you are. Oh! With the very best roundabout oil. Much obliged, Lisa. Thank you very much. Oh, Look at that. Thank you Wonderful. so much, Lisa. Oh, yes. That'll stop Rosie's squeaking. Mm. Do you want to come and ride on the roundabout now? Oh, oh yes, oh, please. Yes, oh, please. Come on, come on. Yes, the pyramid. Well, pyramid. Um, maybe next time. Eh? Yes. <laughs> well, we'd better get this oil back to Mr. Jolly, mm. hadn't yep. we? Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye.